guys, how's it going? So today I figured I was going to film my Christmas haul since I had mentioned it while I was filming during Vlogmas. So what I'm going to essentially do is I'm going to go through the house things first, then like clothes and beauty, and then last I will get to like manga, anime, and Japanese related goods because I figured that's what you guys want to see the most. So yeah, and that's what I have the most of. So I figured I would just kind of run through these other things pretty quickly and then we'll get to those. So if you want to see what I got for Christmas, then just keep on watching. Alright, one of the first things I got isn't very exciting, but it's uh, mixing bowls, measuring cups and spoons, and just some stuff for the kitchen. When me and my sister moved in together, we actually didn't have any large mixing bowls, which proved to be a problem when we were trying to like bake and things like that. So I'm actually pretty happy about this, even if it's not super exciting. Then I also got a rice cooker. I've never had one before, and I figure since I will be away in Japan for about two months, I would like to start trying out some rice dishes so that when I get over there, I have something to eat, especially because at the moment I'm vegetarian and I plan to stay that way, so I figured rice would be a stable for me while I'm in Japan. Then I just got a basic pack of uh, face cloths just to use in the bathroom. Um, actually, I end up using those to clean my brushes most of the time uh, because I wash my face, my face with a Clarisonic instead. Um, I also got a mahogany teakwood candle from Bath and Body Works. This is actually my favorite scent. It's kind of spicy. I don't know what... Let's see. Mahogany Oak Frosted Lavender. So yeah, really good. And then I just got a Victoria's Secret blanket. I think it was like free with a purchase and I just figured you can never have too many blankets. <laughs> and then the last two home things I got were just two new rugs for my bathroom. Um, my cat kind of destroys them and puts his little paw prints all over mine because I currently have a white one. So now I have a gray and a black one, which I think will stand up to him a little bit better. So as for clothing stuff, I just got a few things and there's two that I'm not going to show because it's a bra and underwear and I just figured that's not really appropriate. So the first thing that I got are actually these cabin socks which um, they have like cute designs on the outside and then they're fuzzy socks on the inside. So you can still look cute while wearing fuzzy socks which I always wear fuzzy socks so I don't really care but they're cute. And I also got this plain black shirt and it's just really stretchy and soft and it's more form-fitting than I'm used to but it's something that I'm going to give a try and then I also got one of these scarves I love these so much these are from American Eagle and I actually have the reddish one already so and it's a super long scarf super super soft and it's almost like a blanket if you unfold it like it is huge but I love it so much and then the last thing for clothing is my leather jacket well faux leather jacket so hopefully you guys can see that but yeah, it just goes down and yeah, it has like a texturing that I like and it just feels more sturdy than the other ones that I saw in this one. Yeah, it's totally my style. So love it. And also I apologize if the lighting goes a little bit yellow. I am just using a window for my light source right now. So I don't really have any control. And then the only, I guess, accessory thing that I really got was just this little purse puff. And I don't know why I wanted one of these so bad, but I thought it would be cute to put on my purse and yeah really cute and then i also got a couple things for from colourpop which is just a makeup brand based in la cruelty free so super cool and some of their stuff is vegan not all of it they do have a list on their website so i figured i would just quickly go through and show you guys what i got from them so i got three different eyeshadows and they're all like a purpley tone so this first one is the darkest one and this is straight trippin but it is purple, not black, I promise. But it's almost, it's pretty much almost black. And then this one is called Party Time. Really pretty. And then the last one is the lightest shade, and this is called Mixtape. So I thought that those would be really fun. Then I also got a, what do they call these? Cream color gel, cream gel color. And this one is in the shade Overboard, and it's like a nice bronzy shade. I thought that that would be fun to play with as well. Then I wanted to try out each of their face products, so I got one bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So for the bronzer, I picked up the shade Bon Voyage, which is their lightest shade, since I am so fair. Then I also picked up the most popular shade, I believe, in their highlighters. This is Wisp. Really pretty. And then I also had, uh, I had seen a couple recommendations for this color online, and this is the blush in the color between the sheets. And then the last two things I bought are my new obsession. I actually have ordered, I mean, I'd probably say at least five so far, and I love all of them. And these are the two new ones I got for Christmas. So this first color is called Kapow, and then this one is called Guess. And this is like a super deep purple, almost black. 
So these are going to be really fun to play with All as right. well. And this is the category I'm assuming most of you are here for if you are a subscriber to my channel or if you're just into the same things as me. So this is like the anime, manga, Japanese stuff. And then I do have one video game to show you. Um, my sister actually picked this up for me, Paper Mario Sticker Star. And I've actually been playing this a bunch. Like, I, I don't know if I'd mentioned, but I had just recently purchased myself a 3DS. So this is super fun. So, yeah. And then I figure I'll just show you guys the little miscellaneous stuff first. So this one is pretty random, but this is a an Uta from Tokyo Ghoul, and it's just like a little pillow. And he's kind of my favorite. I'm sorry if that keeps going a little white. He's kind of my favorite character from Tokyo Ghoul, so I figured, why not? <laughs> and then I also got just some cute uh, miscellaneous Rilakkuma things as well. So this is just a little Rilakkuma plushie, but it's the Neko version. So yeah, and you can hang it off like your bag, or I think you can put this, maybe I'll put this on my DS. How cute would that be? <laughs> and then I also got another from the Cat series, and this is actually a bus pass holder. I mean, I know that in Japan these would be used for like the Suica cards and things like that, but I figure while I'm here, I'll use it for my bus card, and then I will be taking it with me to Japan when I have a card as well. The next three things are also Rilakkuma, and these are just for school, so I got this mini pink stapler and you see how it folds down really small I figured it would be nice to throw in my uh, my bag for school and then I got these bookmarks which I think are really cute as well so I'm sure those will come in handy somehow and then the last thing is just these little post-it notes so it is really cool at the top and I believe that this is just like a coffee or tea mug post-it note so I'll be definitely using those uh, in the next semester all right, the next thing is something I was super excited about, and this is the Monthly Shonen Ace. I believe that this was the October edition, yes. And the reason that I bought this is because um, my favorite mangaka, well, I don't want to say favorite mangaka. I love a lot of them, but one of my favorite series of all time is Dead Man Wonderland, and the creator of that has started a new series, and I am so excited for it. So this is actually... You making an appearance, Bubba? doesn't fail does it so this is the magazine that actually um this is the debut chapter in this book so I figured that I would get it and it's super super cool but I just figured that I would like to have um where it came out because how cool is that I don't the know. next thing I got is actually a heroin book for the Monogatari series and this is Senjo Gahara and I mean this is probably an unpopular opinion but she's actually my favorite and yeah so I figured I would just get this I know again it's all in Japanese but there's just like a bunch of cute pictures and stuff in here so I figured that I would pick this one up and when I'm saying that I pick these up these are things that I picked out that my parents bought me for Christmas just so you know I keep getting mixed up but like I told them what I wanted and then they got it so and then I also got the Spoon 2D Eye magazine I believe that there was a Psycho Pass chapter in here so I believe that's why I picked this one up hey do you see his little feet you're so bad I love you you're bad you're trying to ruin it and I also got two folders this one just comes free when you order from Tokyo Otaku Mode which is where most of these things are from so that's the free one and then I also got a Rilakkuma I believe this is either a 6 or 10 pocket folder, so I figured that this would be great. For I also picked up two different anime DVD sets. Uh, so the first one is Dead Man Wonderland. I don't know why I don't have this yet, but I just figured I would like to have it on DVD, considering it is my favorite series. So that'll be super fun. And then another one of my favorite series, I mean, it's probably top 15, is the Gantz series. It's super fun. I mean pretty gory so it really depends on the genres that you enjoy but I really enjoyed this series so this is actually the second season um, I don't have this the first season yet but this was super super cheap so I just figured that I would ask and then these for last it. couple of things are all from right stuff which you guys know I am constantly buying stuff from there it's my favorite place to buy manga from so the first one I got was the Tokyo Ghoul fourth volume. Um, I actually haven't even started reading it because I figured I would want to kind of stock up a couple volumes before I started reading because, I mean, I don't know if you guys read, but I kind of feel it's torture when you start a series and you only have one book and you're like, now I have to wait to read anything more and it's so good. So I probably will start to read it now that I have the fourth one though. Then I also picked up volumes one and two of Steins Gate. Um, I had no idea that this was such a big deal. I am just recently watching and starting the anime, 
So I figured so while these are coming out, I might as well just pick them up because I know that it's like highly acclaimed and everybody is in love with the series. So I figure if everybody thinks it's that good, it probably is. So I'm gonna give these a go as well. And then this one is a little bit different. This is from the creator of Uzumaki, which he writes a lot of um, horror manga. And this one is Yon and Mu Cat Diary. So this will be really interesting. I don't, I think that this, that this is about his uh, fiance and their, his, her cats, I think. Yeah, so I think that this will be something totally different from what he normally writes and I think it'll be really interesting. Then I also picked up Assassination Classroom Volume 7, which is a series that I am definitely in the process of completing. I don't know how many there's going to be, but I know that the second season is coming out in January, which I'm so excited about because I love the first season, so I better get reading on. And then I also picked up this, which was just like really cheap as well. And I was just trying to get my cart to a certain um, dollar value. So this is called Too Long, and it actually reads in the American way from the front of the book left to right. So that kind of threw me off because I'm I'm just used to reading manga in the traditional Japanese way. So, I don't know. Now I always feel weird about it when it's read from left to right. Does anybody else feel that way? <laughs> and then these last two are the things I was obviously most excited about as far as the manga goes. So, Dead Man Wonderland Volume 12. Um, I'm so invested in this series and I know that there's only going to be one more volume after this. So I don't know if I'm going to try to hold off reading this or not. I know I'm going to be really antsy if I have to wait but I'm really upset that this series is ending but I mean if you watched the anime and you didn't think it was that great please check out the manga because then everything starts to make sense if you didn't quite catch things in the anime so I have to say the manga is definitely better than the anime but it's still my favorite series anyway and then this one I'm so excited about this is the Kizu Monogatari Wound Tale so this is pretty much the prequel to the Monogatari series. This is when Shinobu first appears and gets involved with Araragi and yeah, this is the start of it all. So I figured that this would be super fun. But this actually is just a novel, um, but I think that that, I don't believe that they actually have manga for the Monogatari series. I believe they're light novels, if I'm not mistaken. So I figured this would be super cool to check out and then I know that the movie is coming out very soon and I think they're actually going to release it in some theaters in the United States so if there is one close I will definitely be going to check that out because I've just recently gotten to the series and I think it's phenomenal. So I believe that, that is everything I got for Christmas this year. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas as well. Um, if there's anything that you were really excited about for Christmas or just your favorite present you got this year, please tell me down below in the comments. I'd love to chat about it. So I hope that you guys had a great year. Uh, 2015 was really great for me. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for subscribing. And I will talk to you guys very soon. By the Bye. way, do you guys like this festive setup? This is the best that I could do without having to go and sit in front of the tree. But the light down there is terrible, so Christmas.